welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Becky. Today we're going to be sewing the tulip block for the walkabout quilt along. Check the description for the link on how you can get access to the PDF. But this is the block that we are going to be sewing today, the super cute tulip block. So as you can see, you'll just need a few fabrics plus your background. Throughout this quilt, I did use the same background, but you don't need to. You can really do mix and match and a scrappy version if you want. So you'll need a color for your stem as well as your leaves as well as flower fabric. So let's get started sewing our block. All right, with all of my pieces cut and labeled, the first thing we're going to do is take our pile of A's and we are going to mark on the wrong side a line from corner to corner. I'm actually just gonna use a ruler underneath and then I have something hard for my pencil to draw on. So really, I'm just gonna make sure I'm drawing on the wrong side and I'm going to line my ruler up corner to corner and I'm just going to draw a line and I'm going to repeat that for each of these square pieces. I'm also going to repeat that on the pieces that are labeled E. This is going to be our um, our leaf on our stems and so those also need a diagonal line drawn on them so it's just from corner to corner on these as well so once I'm done with this I will take it over to the sewing machine and go with the next step All right, now that I have those drawn, I know that my leaf goes with these two pieces. So I just wanna make sure that right sides are facing. I also wanna make sure that this drawn line is opposite, going the opposite direction of this line because I don't want my leaves to be coming off of the stem because the stem is going to be in the center. And then with this piece, these are the sides and both of these will have a drawn line going opposite directions as well. So we'll wanna make sure the drawn line is going from the top left to the bottom right and then top right to the bottom left. And then check your diagram as well for these bottom triangle pieces because you want them to be going the right way. So as you can see, both of my lines are going the same direction and that should help you as well. And my last piece here um, is just going to be with these two pieces and they are going to be sewn like this, but just one at a time. So I'm gonna set this aside for in a minute. So now I'm gonna just transfer this um, to the sewing machine and sew up my parts. All right, so now that I have my pieces ready, I'm just going to sew on this drawn line. Now, as you can see, I have sewn an extra line and that lets me have an extra bonus half square triangle. I don't need it, so I'm just going to set it aside. But that is a quick tri trick on how you can just automatically sew another line and you get this bonus half square triangle. So now that I've got those two done, I am going to move on to my next piece. 
And again, because I have these lines drawn, it makes it so quick and easy. But you can also use your tape on your machine if you'd like, which I have a link for that in the description. I'm sewing that extra line. Now, instead of snipping, I am just going to go ahead and move on to my next piece. I'm going to pin this half, the bottom half, so um, it doesn't get missed up because I already have it laid out correctly and I don't want it going the wrong direction. So even though these are a little smaller, I am going to go ahead and stitch that extra seam. So this one's already done. I'm going to just set that aside. All right. Just going to snip that and I can go on over to the next end. Remove my pin. It really doesn't take much to just sew another seam and put those two pieces together and I get this teeny tiny half square triangle. So that's a little small but still super fun and I can just set it aside for later. Again, at the end of this quilt along, I'm probably going to have a quite a collection of those. We'll see what kind of project we can put together with it. That is my last piece. So now I need to iron them all. All right, I still have one more corner to do on this center piece for the flower. So I'm going to line that up. Going to trim off that extra half square triangle, set it aside, and I'm going to press this last piece. So now we can lay the block out and put it together. So I have each side of the flower. Just make sure nothing got twisted and it's all right. And then I have each side of this bottom area with the stem. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting this together with the flower and then moving to the stem parts. Move that over. And I can grab my two, so on my one leaf as well as one of my stems. And I need to make sure that these are going the right direction. So you're going to notice that the height of the stem will tell you which direction the um, leaf section goes. I'm going to snip that off. And now I can go ahead and add this right side to the flower.
right, with both of these parts sewn together, I can go ahead and line these up. Need to snip it apart because those those seams are not going to match, so you don't want them you don't want them stuck together. So I'm just going to push right sides together and just make sure that when I sew this together, all of the seams lay really nice and flat and in the direction that they should. Going to have my stem, my seam underneath. These are going to be into the into the stem so you don't get a shadow on your background. All right, so now this needs a good press, but this block is finished.